Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, gonna show you unboxing my new little Savage 64 uh, 22 semi-automatic rifle. Um, I bought it just because I need a little plinking rifle for my property down in Oklahoma. I only have a little over an acre, so I don't need, you know, some big giant shotgun or something like that. I, I've got a 12 gauge, uh, an older one that I use if I get, you know, something wild boar or some kind of crazy animal attacks me or something but this gun here is just mainly for target practice and fun uh it'll, it'll pop off 10 rounds out of the magazine pretty pretty quick so just uh something to play around with target practice stuff like that but uh i want to show you here probably upside down yeah of course it's upside down let's look at it this way there you go it's still upside down yeah, never mind. <laughs> I guess you don't need to see the box anyway. Let's uh, fix you up back here. Okay, I got the box right here in front of me. I'm going to open it up and we'll show you what all I got inside of it and uh, what you get for a $139 rifle. Because that's not bad. Passed my background check today at Academy. Good to know. I'm not psychoing on some list. <laughs> Okay, first off in the box, they did give us a gun lock, two keys, I'll probably use that because I got a 13 year old nosy kid around, but <laughs> there you go, the gun lock, oh, and they threw you in a set of earplugs, probably might need those, I don't know, I doubt it's very loud though, and then we got the magazine, there's the magazine, this tiny little 22 magazine, holds 10 rounds, so. Hell, and out of that magazine, we're going to be shooting, I picked up some ammo I was at the store today, I can get a hold of it, there we go, I got some uh, CCI mini mags, uh, 22 LRs, copper tip, supposed to be a good little round of, you know, fire. I'm going to be blowing shots off like crazy, so I don't want to go too expensive on the, the ammo there. So anyway, let's unbox this now. Pull out the Savage. There we go. Little Savage. Backwards, of course. I think I got my camera backwards, but... Little Savage 22 rifle right there. It is a bolt action. And then it's got the used before tag safety you'll have to pull out. It does have uh, adjustable sight in the rear, looks like. There's that. And it's got nice little checkering on the it's mostly carbon fiber stock. I believe it's an 18-inch barrel. Is that what they said? Um, there's the... It's got the big Savage logo on the butt. There. That one has also got it underneath. Savage written on the stock there. So, anyways. Pretty hefty gun. I mean, it has some weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, it is one of the cheapest ones out there, but it doesn't feel cheap. I mean, it feels pretty good in your hands. It's easy to see the sights. Yeah, it's semi-automatic, but um, I don't know what's on this tag here. Let's see what that is. Uh, it's just caution first. It says clean it before use and... Uh, you know, don't point it at anybody and uh, use safety precautions and use earplugs and the standard warnings they give you. But, yeah, that's our new little toy. I think that ought to be fun down there at the Tranquil Ridge Homestead. Down there on our property. Uh, I got did pick up one more thing here. Unbox this. Well, not unbox it. I'll just show you. I did pick up a first aid kit for the property just in case it get hurt or somebody gets hurt. 
and it does have 88 pieces that includes uh, 10 inch adhesive bandages no 10 adhesive bandages 3 quarter inch by 3 inch 5 adhesive bandages 1 and a half by 1 and a half a knuckle bandage a fingertip bandage a spot adhesive bandage gauze pad trauma pad first aid tape antiseptic swabs insect relief pad triple antibiotic ointment nitrile gloves cotton tip swabs it also includes some emergency survival stuff such as a poncho a survival thermal blanket compass thermometer whistle a magnifying glass flint fire striker resealable pouch and a mini roll of duct tape 10 foot of paracord and 10 safety pins all that in this nice little kit that I can keep on the homestead just in case somebody gets hurt that's all I got for you today I'm going down the property later this week and I'll have a new video so uh, till then I will talk to you soon uh, from Tranquil Ridge Homestead's uh, home base <laughs> peace out everybody have a good weekend